In this tutorial I will discuss how to pick disks and partitions to scan and how the display in Reclaimy Pro relates to the partitions on disks. While the example will be NS and I will be talking mostly about rate recovery, the exact same considerations apply to content and entropy analysis. A typical NES layout looks like that. In our case, this is a 3-disk NES Netgear X-Ray 2. We are working with VHD disk image files mounted in Windows, and they happen to have these disk numbers. Disk 4, Disk 10 and Disk 11. There are three partitions on each disk. First two small partitions form two mirrors storing NES firmware, and we are not interested in them. Large partitions are combined with MD into a RAID storing user data. For example, it can be a RAID 5 as we have here, or some other RAID depending on NES settings. Let's look at how Reclaimer Pro displays the disks and partitions on them. If MD RAID records are damaged, you have to recover a RAID configuration first and only then to recover files from the reconstructed RAID. In this case, there is no MD RAID section in Reclaimy Pro. Disks from NES are displayed under the Physical Disks and Basic Partitions section. We see that each disk has GPT protective partition and three other partitions of different sizes having Linux RAID type. Now let's see what happens if you select some or other objects in Reclaimy Pro for RAID recovery. If you select physical disks on the left, that is checkmark disk 4, disk 10 and disk 11. On the right, you see that all data stored on the disks takes part in the analysis. Because disks contain several RAID sets with different parameters, you do not want to scan this configuration. It is possible to get the correct result because RAID 5 is significantly larger than RAID 1's, but you should avoid scanning multiple RAIDs in one analysis. The same applies to GPT protective partitions. They just cover the entire physical disks. The details why it is so you can find in our lessons devoted to partition recovery. The only thing you need to know now is that you should just ignore them in RAID recovery. Next, let's assume that you select first Linux RAID partitions on the physical disks. In this case, you analyze the area colored with blue. It does not make sense to recover RAID configuration on such partitions. However, you can do the content analysis on them to detect some irregularities among NES disks. Normally, these are perfectly identical. If they are not, one of the disks may have failed or may be out of sync. Now another three smallest partitions. Here we stick to the same considerations as in the previous case. And at last, select the largest partitions. They form a RAID storing user data, wallet area on the right. By selecting these partitions, you can recover RAID configuration. At this point, correct example of selection of objects for RAID recovery in Reclaimy Pro ends. Let's summarize. Always select objects at the same level, that is, physical disks with physical disks, partitions with partitions, and so on. Among the objects from the same level, select objects which are similar in meaning. It does not make sense to select, say, partitions of different sizes or types. That would be like uh, comparing apples to oranges. In NES recovery, we recommend as a last resort the largest partitions on the physical disks or the physical disks themselves. Now let's look at the incorrect disk selection. First example, you select objects from different levels. Say you select a physical disk, orange color, and a partition, red color. As you see, the analysis of such a pair makes no sense. Now, objects from the same level, but different in meaning. 
The partition on the disk for this firmware is colored with red. Orange color is used for the partition on the disk 10, storing user data. The analysis of these objects makes no sense as well. Now let's look at how Reclaiming Pro shows the disks if MD rate is not damaged. In this case, you should start with file recovery from an MD rate, thus bypassing the rate recovery stage. Here we see the correlation between MD rates and the scheme of data location on the disks. From these three rates, you need only one, rate 5 in our case, because it is the only rate storing user data. You need to mark the rate 5 and click Start Scan. However, do not forget to verify that there are not too many missing disks in the underlying physical disks. For a RAID 5, you are allowed to have only one disk missing. If file recovery is unsuccessful, you should do RAID recovery over partitions as we have already discussed. So, if MD RAID is damaged, select the largest partitions in the same level and similar in meaning. If these are not available, select physical disks. Recover rate configuration by clicking Start Rate. If MD rate is not damaged, then select the largest rate from the first level under the MD rate section. Bypass the rate recovery stage and click Start Scan to recover files. If file recovery is unsuccessful, do rate recovery first as in case of damaged MD rate.